It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to our 50th anniversary capstone event. We're delighted that so many of you could come and uh, spend some of your very valuable time with us this afternoon. What a, what a wonderful group of friends and colleagues. Thank you. From the, from the bottom of our heart, thank you for coming to this. This means so much to us. Thank you. Uh, it was back in November of 2016, right here in this room, that many of you joined us um, so that we could announce our kickoff to our anniversary year. So November 2016, January 2018. So Chris, that's more than 12 months. That's a long year, isn't it? That's a big... <laughs> But here we are, uh, 14 months later, celebrating the end of a very meaningful, very satisfying, and very, very busy year for the Community Foundation. We've done a lot, we've learned a lot this year, and we're so excited to share and recap our milestones and our successes with you this afternoon, and to recognize our Spark supporters and Spark grantees for their contributions. We're also going to be announcing our two anniversary legacy gifts, which uh, will inform the Community Foundation's grant making throughout the uh, next uh, grant making cycle in 2018 and 2019. But before I introduce our, our first guests in our program, I'd like to acknowledge the many current and former board members of the Foundation that are here with us. There's a number of you, if you are currently a member of our board or have served as a member of our board, could you please stand and be recognized and thank you, everyone. of you didn't get up. There's more of you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I also want to recognize the foundation staff. What, what a team for for putting this. I mean, no one, I checked their resumes again, no one had event planning on their resume. <laughs> but they really were able to pull it off. And I want to thank them. Trisha Higgins, our vice president and CFO. <laughs> Erica Riddle Petruzzelli, our director of donor services. Michael Wilson, our Director of Communications. <laughs> Megan Briggs, our Director of Community Investments. And two wonderful support staff that keep us in line, Alinda Schmoyer and Janice Stroll. Thanks, guys. Welcome. And so, the last group I want to uh, acknowledge are our, our friends uh, from the legislature that are here today, our Lehigh County Executive, the Honorable Phillips Armstrong. Phillips? Bill Royer, uh, Bill Royer from the Office of Pennsylvania Representative Ryan McKenzie. Nancy Wilk from the Office of Pennsylvania Rep uh, Pete Schweier. Nancy. And from the Office of U.S. Senator Charlie Dent, we have Emily Olierczak and Genesis Ortega. <laughs> Ellen Kern, representing State Senator Pat Brown. Gabriel from uh, Senator Pat Toomey's office. Marta's here. And Joe Kelly representing State Senator Lisa Boscola. I'm going to ask that Ellen and Joe join me here for a presentation of, of a proclamation from State Senators Brown, Boscola, and Scavella. Come on up, guys. <laughs> Perfect role. We haven't practiced this. On behalf of the Lehigh Valley Senate delegation, congratulations to the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation on your 50th or your Golden Jubilee anniversary. Why gold, you might ask? Gold is symbolic of the 50th anniversary because it is arguably the most precious metal on the planet. It can be molded in an infinite number of ways. Pharaohs embedded gold in their clothing. They made their headpieces out of gold. And those headpieces became physical manifestations of their power. The Lehigh Valley Community Foundation uses its gold to shape the community in an infinite number of ways. It polishes many of our citizens to reveal their inner strength, innate intelligence, and gives them the tools they will need to prosper and thrive. To paraphrase Isaiah chapter 60, verse 17, instead of browns, 
the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation will bring gold. Instead of iron, silver, instead of wood, bronze, instead of stones, iron. The Lehigh Valley Community Foundation will bring peace, peace and righteousness to its citizens, administrators, and overseers. On behalf of Senators Brown, Bascola, and Scavello, thanks Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Thanks for 50 years of dedicated service, and here's to the next 50. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm having a really good day so far. <laughs> uh, and now it's my pleasure to introduce our first guest to make remarks, our immediate past board chair, Mike Stershik. Mike is the president and CEO of Discover Lehigh Valley. He has been a very strong advocate of our anniversary plan since the very beginning, and he has served on several planning and grants committees to help make this year a success. For this reason, we've asked Mike to recap our Be the Spark campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Stershik. Thank, thank you, Bernie. Uh, let me begin by joining Bernie and uh, thanking all of you uh, for coming to the Alps this evening for, for this great event. Uh, this capstone event uh, is extremely special to us because it really goes back uh, to a, a little over a year ago when we were all, I, I wasn't here. <laughs> uh, actually, I wasn't here for the capstone event and I was the board chair at the time. Uh, was, I had a, my own board meeting that night, so I, was, I, had, I think I had to be there. Um, but the original donors and, and trustees uh, for the Community Foundation, who in 1967 had the vision um, to create a community endowment for the benefit of our community, would be extremely cr proud in how their vision has grown and how our community has come together tonight uh, to celebrate this uh, great occasion. Um, as I said, I was board chair when Bernie and the staff started talking about our 50th anniversary, and uh, we didn't have really a great idea of what to do, so we started brainstorming a number of ideas about our 50th anniversary plans. Uh, one proposal stuck out though. We're, we're a community foundation, and what do we do? We make grants. So what better way to celebrate your 50th anniversary than to make grants? Um, and, and it was it was our focus, of, that was our focus for, for the year, and we wanted to do a year of special grant making. The theme of the year was be a spark, be the spark. And it was to be the spark of awareness, to be the spark of connection, and be the spark of change. Uh, so ultimately, it was, it was not just a year of grant making, but it became a year of community engagement and awareness building. And if any of you followed this on Facebook or voted on the videos that were done, you can tell we had a significant amount of engagement in this event over the past year. And that's something about which we should all be proud. And I, I'm really, that was probably the best outcome that came to this. Yes, we did do some good by giving out $300,000 worth of grants. That's a great thing. But we also engaged thousands of people personally. And that has an even greater impact. Um, the Community Foundation chose six SPARK issues on which to focus a total of $300,000 of our own grant dollars. Um, this list was diverse and was surprising to a lot of people. Some say, we have that problem here? People didn't know that. And so it was an educational enterprise as well. It addressed a wide range of needs that many Lehigh Valley residents just didn't have a clue about. Um, during the year, these SPARK issues and the resulting uh, SPARK grantees were all over social media. Uh, they were the focus of spe several community discussions and events, and they were discussed with foundation, donors, and partners. This awareness building resulted in additional gifts of more than $100,000 from other individuals and organizations that were inspired by the 50th anniversary to give to Lehigh Valley Community Foundation's efforts, the SPARK issues, and to the SPARK grantees. Through this effort, we have truly struck, stuck to our mission of connecting people that care to causes that matter and creating sustaining con con connections between donors, nonprofits, and community leaders. 
Plus, individual donors learned about additional needs in which they could become personally involved in and make their own personal contributions uh, aside and outside of the Be The Spark program. That was part of that Be The Spark of connection uh, that was so important to what we were trying to accomplish. This, this has been an incredible year of celebration. I want to also thank the staff. Um, they put in a lot of work over the last year. I think Bernie pretty much understated uh, the amount of effort that has gone into this, uh, but I, it's really been more than a year long effort. And I want to personally, and on behalf of the board, I want to personally thank you and the whole team for everything you did, plus the, all the committees that were involved in reviewing grants and allocating those dollars. So thank you uh, for all of your work. Now let's turn to a short video presentation to recap more of the year's activities. Thanks to support from Spark Grant for Mental and Behavioral Health, PBS 39 produced the program Close to Home Depression, focusing on local people living with depression and the treatments that have helped them and others. The program aired multiple times and has brought attention for this important issue in the Lehigh Valley and beyond. Thank you, Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Thanks to a Spark Grant for cultural enrichment, Michaela's Voice will be able to publish and give the kids' book, Super Brady, Always on the Move, to every third, fourth, and fifth grade class across the Lehigh Valley and to every elementary school in the state. We are proud to help kids improve the culture in our schools and communities by teaching others about autism, their gifts, and abilities. I play baseball with Brady. And we all think it's really cool how Brady uses his device. Brady has a message for you. Right here, Brady. Many thanks to the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Yes. We're excited to be the recipients of the SPARK grant from the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation for Food and Housing. Thanks to this grant, we've been able to begin renovations on a two-story garage that will become our food pantry starting this spring. The food pantry will provide more food more often to more people in the Bethlehem area. Thank you, Lehigh Valley Community Foundation, for this wonderful opportunity. The SPARK Grant for Environment and Sustainability has supported our Bike to Sustainability programming here at Community Bike Works. We're serving 500 students in our Earn a Bike and Junior Earn a Bike programs. We've ridden 1,000 miles this summer, 
and we just took nine teenagers down to Washington DC for the Youth Bike Summit where we learned about everything from urban mountain biking to biking to school in the mornings. Thank you Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Community Bike Works! With the SPARK grant for human trafficking supporting the Truth Home, which is a residential therapeutic home for survivors coming out of sex trafficking, we are able to continue with trauma-informed counseling, therapeutic groups, life skills, and so much more. Thank you, Lehigh Valley Community Foundation, for all that you do in the Lehigh Valley. Thanks to the SPARK grant for Veterans Affairs provided by the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation, Second Harvest Food Bank, will have the opportunity to launch the Military Share program here throughout the Lehigh Valley region. Military Share will provide a monthly box of wholesome and nutritious food to veterans and their families throughout the region. Thank you very much, Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Good afternoon, my name is Cindy Lambert Durham and I am a member uh, and a past former chair of the board of the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. I was also privileged to serve on the Food and Housing Access Spark Grant Evaluation Group and also the Human Trafficking Group. I'm very proud of my nearly 20 years of service to the Community Foundation and having been involved in the evolution of this organization and what it has become today. With this perspective in mind, I was asked to talk a little bit about the future of the Foundation. What we've, we have celebrated our anniversary successes and milestone, but what is next? As a result of this incredibly successful year that was just shown up on the, the screen, the Community Foundation is poised for more growth, more impact, and increased community leadership. To support this direction, I'm very excited tonight to announce two anniversary legacy gifts to the community because it is your foundation. It's the community's foundation. I always think we should have an apostrophe S behind our name. Those two initiatives are, the first one is the Lotter Fellow Reflections Paper that will be led by Dr. Christopher Bork of Muhlenberg College's Institute of Public Opinion. And the second one is, the Igniting Change Fund, which is a new series of community foundation grants that will be awarded to programs addressing the findings from Dr. Bork's Reflections paper. So what is this Lauder Fellow Reflections paper all about anyway? Well, as the SPARC Grant Evaluation Committee has read the many, many very worthy applications that we received for the six SPARC issues, we recognized two things that there were certain trends and overarching themes embedded within the issues, and that there was still an awful lot of work to do around these issues beyond what our SPARC grant funding could do. We knew we could be a SPARC, but could we ignite change? And that's where the idea of the Reflections paper was born. Our hope is to share the findings of the Reflections paper with all of you, our donors, our fellow funders, our region's nonprofit organizations that provide much needed services, and our community members at large. So all of these findings can inform your work, your giving, your grant making, and everything that you do to continue to make the Lehigh Valley one of the best places to live, work, and play. Bernie Story and Dr. Bork will be available to meet with you to dig into the paper's results. So we encourage you to contact Bernie and the staff to learn more at the appropriate time. Now, it's my distinct pleasure to welcome our Lauder Fellow, Dr. Christopher Bork, to provide some insight into the Reflections paper. Dr. Bork, as many of you I'm sure know, you've seen his picture all over the newspaper all the time, you hear him on the radio and the new television, is a nationally recognized public opinion researcher who has conducted over 250 large-scale public opinion surveys that have caught the attention of national media and who regularly seek him out to comment on current events. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Bork. Thank you so much, uh, Cindy, and thanks everybody for, for coming today. And uh, 
the, the staff, uh, along with Bernie, were very persistent in saying I have three to five minutes. <laughs> so many of you have heard me speak over the years. I can't qualify, I can't even ca clear my throat in three to five minutes. So, so good luck with that, Bernie. You know, I know that you gave me the stage. But, uh, you know, when I met, met Bernie last summer to talk about this opportunity, I have to be completely honest, I, I was reticent. Uh, lucky for me, I have a very full and robust schedule right now. It's an election, midterm election year. Uh, lots going on, so my, my, my plate is, is pretty full. Uh, but Bernie brought forth this opportunity to me. We sat down, had a, had a lunch, uh, and he told me a little bit more about it. I had heard about the SPARC grants. I know the great work that the, the foundation has done uh, for years, and I know so many people in this room and the work that you do that has been funded uh, by, these, uh, by the foundation. Um, and, and, I, and Bernie, give me a little bit of a, a feel about the 50th anniversary and what this meant and what this meant to, to the foundation, what it meant to the community, um, and, and ask me if perhaps I'd be interested uh, and maybe spending some time thinking about this, reflecting on it, and looking at it. And as I said before, I was a little reticent because I was, uh, you know, my plate is full. Uh, but I, I got a chance to think. I got a chance to think about it a little. And I've studied. I've been lucky to study the Lehigh Valley, uh, the public's perceptions, the quality of life here for 17 years now. I've been around a, a pretty long time. That's why I talk so much. Uh, and and uh, when, when Bernie framed this opportunity for me, I said, what a great chance to, to both uh, dig a little deeper into the activities that are going on, the work that's being done, and the continuing needs in the community, and maybe offer a little insight, not only on the experience that have taken place during this wonderful year and with these grants, but what needs remain, how we might identify those, and how we might inform the process moving forward uh, for the foundation. So I uh, accepted uh, this, this wonderful offer, uh, very much appreciative of, of the opportunity, and have set forth since last fall uh, with the team of students to really engage in analyzing and evaluating this, uh, this, this program. Uh, so in the fall, we spent some time, the students and I, really looking at the six areas from a contextual perspective. Uh, what do we know data-wise? What do we know about the challenges? What do we know empirically about these six areas and how they compare, how in the Lehigh Valley they might compare uh, to other areas and get a sense of these needs to really get an, an appreciation. What we're moving into now, and I wrote this a little bit in the, the documents that, that was shared with you all today, is uh, probably the most fun part, and we've already started really having conversations with folks. And in this room, I'll probably have conversations with many of you, or my staff will have conversations with many of you moving forward to the spring uh, to understand the experiences that you had and once again once again to really identify the needs and one thing that we've seen so far uh, and this is striking in terms of the findings is the type of work that's being done is is magnificent it's addressing many needs but every time you see uh, some of those needs being met it uncovers other needs it uncovers other challenges some nuance that's involved in those areas and the people that are conducting these grants people that have sought some of the grants in the past uh, have offered incredible insights. So I'm thrilled to be able to spend the rest of the spring along with my students and working with the great staff at, at the foundation to have a chance to really dig in and, and as uh, Cindy just said, be able to offer our final product to, to the community uh, as kind of uh, a reflection and a guidepost moving forward. So thank you so much everybody for being here and thank you for supporting this initiative. Thank you, Dr. Gorick. Mm -hmm. My name is Antonia Griffo, and I am proud to be the newly appointed chair of the Community Investments Committee of the Foundation. This committee oversees and directs the Foundation's discretionary grant making. As Cindy mentioned, we will soon be sharing the findings of the reflection paper with you and what those findings will mean for the Lehigh Valley, for the Community Foundation, and for all of you. Uh, in this room and beyond. We've shown that the Lehigh Valley can be the spark for awareness, for connection, and for change. But we want to expand this initiative and ignite change. We've been so impressed with the work of the 29 nonprofits that we have funded through the SPARC grants that we want to continue our impact on these SPARC issues. The Reflections paper's findings will spotlight trends and continuing needs, as Dr. Boric has pointed out. We will not close the door on the progress that we've made in the past year, but instead we plan to accomplish even more. 
I'm excited to announce uh, today that the Community Foundation has established a new fund, the Igniting Change Fund, and we have allocated to it discretionary grant making dollars. The Igniting Change Fund will provide a new series, a brand new series of Community Foundation grants to harness this momentum of the SPARK grants and to provide additional resources to expand on the important work that we have all begun. The application criteria will speak to the findings of the reflection paper, of course, to better meet the needs of our community. And as an aside, uh, for those of you who were stymied by the video portion uh, of the application, we will not be including a video portion of this time around. <laughs> The uh, fund will be open to grant uh, applications from the Lehigh Valley starting uh, later this year. So stay tuned for more information about the Reflections Paper and the Igniting Change Fund. As we move forward with the Igniting Change Fund, of course we welcome the partnership of our current donors and funders, and of course new sources of funding. Together we can all ignite change in the Lehigh Valley. Sorry, I just have to pause a moment. Now we're going to turn our attention uh, to celebrating, uh, as, as has been mentioned, our Spark supporters, because our anniversary year would not have been possible, of course, without the generosity of our donors. I welcome to the podium our board chair, uh, Beale Fowler, to recognize one individual, one special individual who has been particularly influential. Beale. Thank you, Antonia. Hello, everyone. My name is Beale Fowler. That's what it says. <laughs> And as Antonia mentioned, I am currently the chair of the Foundation's Board of Governors, following a long series of honorable and distinguished people in that role. It's my pleasure to represent the Foundation as we recognize and celebrate one of our most impactful SPARK supporters. The Community Foundation's prestigious Vision in Philanthropy Award is given to those individuals and organizations who have chosen to establish a fund at the Community Foundation as a method of supporting charitable organizations and in so doing have demonstrated a deep and meaningful commitment to philanthropy in the Lehigh Valley. In this special year, we're presenting the 50th Anniversary Vision in Philanthropy Award to an individual who has remained committed to the work of the Foundation by supporting the anniversary year in a unique and lasting way. Luther J. Hottle, Jr. established his first fund at the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation in 1998. In 2013, Luther established the Lotter Family Fund in honor of his daughter and son-in-law, Linda and Etienne Lotter. When the Foundation spoke to Luther early last year about his support of the anniversary celebration, he was pleased to contribute to the Community Foundation's work and to honor his daughter by making a grant from the Lotter Family Fund. This grant established the Lotter Fellowship at Muhlenberg College's Institute of Public Opinion which, as you have just heard, will result in the 50th Anniversary Reflections paper. The Community Foundation thanks you, Luther, for your passion and commitment, and we're honored to present you with the 50th Anniversary Vision in Philanthropy Award. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Just, if I can say a couple of words, I just love to Please do. Thank the present staff and the past staff of the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation. Thank you. Thank you, Luther. What a gentleman, what a philanthropist, what a great guy. And one time I was flipping through the channels and I saw a replay of the uh, music fest and there was Luther dancing, spinning. It was great. It was so good to see that, Luther. So, so we're so happy that uh, you are here and that you're a member of the Community Foundation family. And we're so excited to share our, our anniversary legacy gifts with all of you in the coming months and year. We hope these gifts have lasting impact on the Valley uh, in honor of our golden anniversary. And on that note, before we move on to our closing, I'd like to bring to your attention these really delicious uh, chocolate bars from uh, Premise Bay, which can be found at the registrations table. And one of these bars, right, has a golden ticket. I never thought my life would be anything but catastrophe. But suddenly I begin to see a bit of good luck for me. Cause I got a golden ticket, I got a golden ticket, I got a piece of golden in my eye. All right, can I stop now? Once. <laughs> so somebody may have this golden ticket, and if you do, we will make a grant to one of our grantees that you choose in your name. And so if you have the golden ticket, make sure you call, contact us, and we'll be happy to do that. So that's a little bit of fun. So, so I'm bringing this down to a close. I promised you that it would be uh, short on program and long on fun and networking. Um, I have to tell you this thing, and, and I appreciate so much the kind words of the board on behalf of the staff. We could not have done any of this without our friends and colleagues in the room. Every one of you, thank you so much for this. Um, happy 50th anniversary, and let's watch a closing, right, Mike? Yep. Ready to go. Thank you, Spark supporters. Thank you, Spark sponsors. Thank you, 50th anniversary board, the FAB. Thank you, Spark grantees. To the members of our Spark grant committees, our board of governors, and to all of those who work hard to make the Lehigh Valley a better place, we say thank you.